The max ifs function is a new statistical function that has been introduced in Excel 2019 and Office 365. The max ifs function allows you to find the largest value in a range after applying one or more criteria. So let's get started. Here we have a table of data that consists of year, product, and cost columns. For our first example, let's find the maximum cost for the product oranges. We'll begin by entering the maxifs command. As you can see, the maxifs function takes a series of parameters. The first parameter is the range of cells that contains the largest or maximum value. In this example, we'll use range C2 to C10, which is our cost column, since we want to find the maximum cost. The second parameter is the range of cells to apply your criteria against. In this example, we'll enter the range B2 to B10. This is the range of cells that we'll test to see if they meet our criteria. The third parameter is the criteria that will be applied against the range B2 to B10. In our example, we'll enter oranges in quotes. The maxifs function will test each value in the range B2 to B10 to see if it is the product called oranges. Since we only want to apply one criteria, these are all of the parameters we'll need, so let's see what the maxif function returns. You should see the value $15.99 appear. This is the largest cost value for the product oranges. Now let's see how to apply two criteria against the maxifs function. So for this example, let's find the maximum cost for oranges since the year 2019. Again, we will enter the maxifs command and start with the same three parameters that we entered in the first example by entering the range C2 to C10 as the first parameter, B2 to B10 as a second parameter, and oranges in quotes as the third parameter. Now it's time to apply our second criteria by entering two more parameters. Since we only want to include costs for oranges since 2019, we will enter the range A2 to A10 as the fourth parameter, which contains our year values, and greater than equals 2019 as the final parameter. The maxifs function will test each value in the range A2 to A10 to see if it is greater than or equal to 2019. Now let's see what this formula returns. You should see the value $13.45 appear as the result. In this example, only the maximum cost is included if both the product is oranges and the year is greater than or equal to 2019. Next, let's find the maximum cost for the year 2020. So again, we'll start with the maxifs function and enter the range C2 to C10 as the first parameter but this time we'll enter the range A2 to A10 as the second parameter and 2020 in quotes as the third parameter. The maxis function will test each value in the range A2 to A10 and only include values that are equal to the year 2020. This formula returns the value $7.95 since that was the largest cost value in the year 2020. Finally, let's see how to use wildcards in the maxifs function. In Excel, there are two different wildcard characters, the asterisk and the question mark. The asterisk character allows you to match any string of any length, whereas the question mark allows you to match only on a single character. Let's use the asterisk wildcard to find the maximum cost of all products that start with the letter A. So again, we will start with the maxifs function and enter the range C2 to C10 as the first parameter. Then we'll enter the range B2 to B10 as the second parameter, which contains our product values. Finally, we'll enter A asterisk in quotes as the third parameter, since we are only looking at products that start with the letter A. Now let's see what results we get. You should see $12.50 appear as the result, which is the maximum cost for all products that start with the letter A. So this would include products such as apples and apricots. And that covers our examples of how to use Excel's maxifs function. If you would like to see more examples, or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. 
If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.